What up, y'all? It's your boy Daniel Poneman here, IllinoisHSBasketball.com. I'm here with Abdul Nader. Abdul is a class of 2011 prospect, a 6'6 forward, um, playing with a full package. Um, not many people know about Abdul right now. He does not show up on many internet rankings. Uh, he's not hasn't been seen by the national scouts, but you will hear about him soon because this kid's got game. Um, first off, Abdul, tell me uh, why you think you're underrated? Why, why people have been sleeping on you? Well, maybe it's because, well, I think it's because it's my, this is my first year playing in AU, and I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just like started developing a lot more over the past few summers and years. Abdul, so you play uh, school ball under Coach Olson. You play AAU under Coach Pratt, two of the best player development guys out there. What did you kind of learn from them? Well, they taught me how to work harder than I was working because at first I wasn't really working as hard, and they just well, and plus the fact that I used to play like center and all that stuff when I was in, in junior high and all that stuff, they showed me like how to be a guard and like tangent guards and all that stuff. So yeah. Yeah. Now describe the game a little bit. You have a, you have a unique game. You, you play a little forward, a little guard. You play a little, you play really like all five yeah, positions. Yeah. So yeah, just talk about your game a little bit more. Well, because I see the floor really good on fast breaks and all that stuff, so I can run a guard and then I can like bring, I can even run the guard in a half court set and I can post in a half court set. I can. I can shoot the ball off of, like, basically, like, you sacrifice your position. Mm -hmm. Now, what position do you see yourself playing in college? Uh, either a two guard or a small forward. Mm -hmm. Now, you've played against some players who are, like, highly ranked and all that stuff, but you don't see your name popping up uh, quite yet. How have you fared against those ranked kids so far? Well, I think I played pretty good against some of them, and, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just going to play my game regardless. Now, you, you're starting to get recruited a little bit. Um, what schools are talking to you right now? Uh, Oregon State, Albany, and Baylor. Uh -huh. And have any of them shown some serious interest? Uh, Oregon State has. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me about the opportunity that might arise in playing at Oregon State under uh, Nate Pomeday, who used to coach for full pack, and Craig Robinson, um, who's obviously the brother-in-law of yeah. Barack Obama. Well, I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, maybe I'll get to meet Barack Obama. <laughs> And uh, just Nate Pomeroy, he's like close with Steve Pratt, so like I don't see Pratt could like tell him they're, they're gonna know my game better and like all that stuff. Now at Manny's, Coach Olson used to be there, but he's gone. You got a new coach coming in. Uh, tell me a little bit about that transition, what you're expecting. Well, I mean, it's some big shoes to fill because Coach Olson did a good job with us. And um, well, I don't know, like really the co our new coach I already met him. He played several years, so he's a pretty nice guy. And, and, but it's going to be different, but you still got to play basketball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Now, who else is going to be on the team that you made at Manny's next year? you got News Con and you got uh, Charles McKinney. Yeah. Uh, both of them are obviously great players. Who else is going to be on there? Well, we got, uh, we got this one, another forward, his name is Osama, and he, he's hopefully can, he's like a good role player. We got, we got some role players on our team. Cool. Now, um, you're an Egyptian basketball player. There are not many, um, actually the only Egyptian I know that plays ball. Tell me a little bit about just your culture and your heritage and, and how you came about playing basketball. Well, I'm, I, I was born in Egypt and then I moved here when I was around like four or five years old. And I just, I just came here. One day I just picked up a basketball and never put it down. It basically sort of how I started playing basketball. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and yeah, I visited there a couple of times. I'll hopefully be playing the national team soon. Have you ever talked to people in Egypt about possibly playing the national yeah. team? That's great. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Um, well, you'll be playing in Vegas, so we'll try and get an update from you there, maybe some highlights, because this kid really is underrated. You all are sleeping on him. You heard it here first. Uh, until next time, I'm Dan Poneman, the dual nader, the IllinoisHSBasketball.com. Peace.